right, so I got involved in soccer just like everyone else did. Uh, I was about five years old, a bunch of my friends were playing ASO, and that was when I really first got started. Um, I began playing um, competitively in club around the time I was 11, and my first real memory was the first club game that I played, and I saved a PK in it, and it was just a good memory overall for me, and that's the first one that I remember. Nice. For me, as a goalkeeper, I love making a big save, like keeping the team, keeping the team in the game. Um, sometimes saves can be just as important as scoring a goal, so that's really like what I love about soccer. My favorite part about being a Rush player is all the opportunities that it presents. I mean, with Rush, we've been given the opportunity to play in the Regional League as well as SCDSL. Um, we've gotten a chance to play in a bunch of big tournaments, National Cup, where we have college scouts that come and see us and watch us play, which is a huge opportunity. And like, I feel like with any other team, I mean, I would get those opportunities, but I feel like Rush has presented more of those opportunities than any other club would. Okay, so Rush has basically given me more opportunities than any other club team has before. I mean, previously, um, I've been with Rush, or the clubs before Rush, like Galaxy and Team 90, since about freshman year. But when we play our games, there was never really anyone to watch the games as far as... But in the more recent years with Rush, we've had more college coaches coming, bigger tournaments, better teams to play. So with those opportunities come success. Excellent. First off, my role models definitely got to be my parents because they've gotten me involved in this game. They've gotten me involved in other sports as well, but I kind of discovered that soccer was the one that I wanted to play, and they helped me kind of push myself along through getting myself into club, getting myself to a team that they feel I would benefit from. Um, also, I want to say that one of my role models would definitely be Joe Hart, professional goalie. Um, I've watched him ever since he started out as Manchester City. He's my favorite goalie by far. Um, but I kind of developed my technique, and I watch him play, and I learn from him, and so because of that, he, I feel like he's made me a better player. So definitely Joe Hart, as I said, is one of my favorite players to watch. I also like Manuel Neuer and uh, Thibaut Courtois. I feel like I look like Thibaut Courtois and <laughs> I'm, I'm tall and really, really lanky, so it kind of goes with him. Um, also, as far as uh, players who aren't goalkeepers, I like Sergio Aguero because he scores a lot of goals. He's really fast and really good on the ball as well, so those are my favorite players. So as a goalkeeper, it does help that I am somewhat tall. So I feel like I'm really confident in the air. I'm really good with the aerial ball, picking up balls in the air, picking up crosses, saving shots in the corners. Um, so like because of my height, I feel like that's an advantage that I really have, and that's where my game is really strong. I feel like I could really improve with my feet because uh, as the game is developing, it's more important for the goalkeeper to have better feet and better uh, technical ability with the ball. So because of that, I feel like my uh, passing out the back and playing the ball throughout the back could improve a lot, um, as well as like balls like lower on the ground as well because that's harder for me to get down. But yeah, those are things that I can improve on. Um, definitely, I worry about getting injured because if I got injured, I wouldn't be able to play the game anymore, and that's something that I'm really not necessarily worried about, but I'm a little bit um, a little bit doubtful. As, to, as far as my abilities go because I want to push myself but I don't want to push myself so far that I have a career ending injury because that would stop me from, from playing the game any further. As far as my personal goals, I'd like to obviously play in college, possibly play in professional if that's possible, but even just go to a good school, get a good education so that I can have a stable enough job uh, when I get out of college and even I don't think I could ever get away from this game. Even after college I could possibly find some coaching job somewhere if possible. So I feel like it's really important to focus on all four pillars um, that we have here. Uh, technical, it's really important to be good with your feet, you know, being able to play out the back. Tactical, but you have to, tactical as well as you have to be smart to be able to know where to play the ball. Um, psychological is important as a goalkeeper because mostly the game is completely mental. You have to know what to do at the exact time. And so like, I just feel like it's important. And physical as well, because you need to work on your game outside of the game. You need to hit the weight room. Anything you possibly can do, work on sprints, anything to, you can do outside of, actually pra outside of practice in order to get better at the game. Because in order to, to get better overall, you have to practice as well outside of practice. I always look for what I can take away from whether it's practice, scrimmage, game, anything, because it's always important to focus on what you've done right, what you've done wrong, looking back on what you could fix, what you could improve. That's always important when you need, and it's uh, crucial if you want to improve your game. 
Yeah, I feel like I definitely get the support that I need. The team team is really great. It, it's like a it's like a family. Um, and as far as far as my real family, my parents support me. My friends are supportive of me playing soccer. They want me to do well. It feels like everyone wants me to do well. So it's just good to have the support that I need. Uh, let's see some of the recent successes we've had through Rush. Um, we won the uh, player showcase in Vegas recently. Uh, played some top teams there. Won, went undefeated. Um, recently, National Cup made it to the round of 16, which was pretty well, pretty good for a team uh, like us. Um, also, um, not through Rush, but I w recently was able to participate in the Milk Cup in Northern Ireland, and that was a great experience. Um, the reason I was able to do that was because I've been working hard, I've been working on my game, and I've been improving every time. So it was just a great experience for me to go to Ireland and be able to play some of the top teams in the world. Yeah, so some sacrifices that I've had to make as far as playing soccer. I mean, I would give up a lot for soccer. I have to balance school, soccer, extracurricular activities, everything that goes on in high school, trying to get to the next level to play college and get into college. Um, but like as well, um, it's also important that you need to sacrifice like your time as well, spend time off the field um, when I could be hanging out with friends, doing something else. Um, but I'm working in the weight room or anything else where I could possibly be improving my game just that little bit to get me to the next level. Uh, definitely just some advice that I would give to anyone is to just whatever you do whatever sport you play to just work as hard as you possibly can I mean I don't honestly think of myself as the most talented player out there but I consider myself one of the most hardworking and because of that it gives me opportunities if you keep working hard you keep trying to do everything that you can do to be better at the sport you play you'll get there